President Trump is heading to the U.S.-Mexico border tonight, the city of El Paso, Texas, to pick up the political fight that he seems to relish and to continue to spread a falsehood that he loves to trot out, including in his State of the Union address. The border city of El Paso, Texas, used to have extremely high rates of violent crime, one of the highest in the entire country, and considered one of our nation's most dangerous cities. Now, immediately upon its building, with a powerful barrier in place, El Paso is one of the safest cities in our country. The president using a false story that the barriers built in El Paso are exhibit A for why he should get the full $5.7 billion he's demanded for a border wall or barrier or metal slats or whatever it is this week. But here's the problem. Whatever your position on border barriers or a border wall, the case the president lays out about El Paso is simply false. El Paso has never had, quote, one of the highest rates of violent crime in the entire country, according to FBI data. Its violent crime rate has always been well below the average rate for the top 35 cities with a population over 500,000. Lower in El Paso, in fact, than in Houston or in Dallas or in Fort Worth. Large Texas cities not on the border. But let's get to the other point. How did the barrier that was built there impact the city? FBI crime data shows that violent crime in El Paso actually peaked in 1993 and continued on a downward trend, falling 60% over the next 13 years. Border wall construction didn't begin uh, until, 19, until 2008, and then violent crime did not actually drop then. It actually increased 5.5% from the year before construction of the fence started to the year it was completed. Well, you don't believe the FBI? Okay. How about the Republican mayor of El Paso this morning on CNN? He called the president's claim flat wrong. But the uh, remarks that the president made in the, in the State of the Union were, were uh, stated originally almost verbatim by our uh, t uh, attorney general some weeks ago, and that's where the erroneous comments came from that, that were not correct. Not correct. Now, it is correct that Customs and Border Patrol officials would like more barriers on the U.S.-Mexico border. That's not in dispute. But the president wants to depict undocumented immigrants as hordes of almost entirely violent criminals, which is not true. So he makes claims that are also not true, like claims that El Paso was once considered one of our nation's most dangerous cities. False claims that El Paso only became safe immediately upon its building with a powerful barrier in place. False. The president is lying to you to get his border wall. President Trump just wrapped a meeting with White House aides on border wall funding. Any minute, he will head to El Paso for tonight's rally. CNN's White House correspondent Caitlin Collins kicks off our coverage from Texas. President Trump heading to El Paso for his first campaign rally of the year. Trump hoping to amplify the argument for his border wall in the Texas border city as border security talks are breaking down in Washington. I'll say 50-50, we get a deal. Though the wall was once the central issue in the funding fight, Democrats are now demanding a limit on the detention of illegal immigrants. But Republicans want an exception for criminals. Today, the president called the brand new demand from Democrats crazy. White House officials say if lawmakers can't come to an agreement that includes funding for the border wall, another partial government shutdown could happen leaving 800,000 federal workers in limbo once again. Yeah. They shut down entirely off the table, the answer is no. But the acting chief of staff left the door open to declaring a national emergency. Lots of money where presidents, all presidents have access to without a national emergency, right. and there's ones that he will not have access to without that declaration. Though some Republican senators, including Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania, aren't sure he has that authority. It's probably uh, a gray area uh, in terms of the legality of it. And so that's why I'd rather not go down that road. This should be resolved through the legislative process, through a compromise. 
Now, Jake, Mick Mulvaney also said that the president has instructed him to comb through the law and find money in any place that he could. Then, just now in a meeting before leaving the White House to head here to El Paso, the president reiterated his demand that they need a wall. So, Jake, you can guess where this is headed if those congressional negotiators don't come to a deal soon.